So, you know, the things that really highlight uh, the MAGA movement, uh, the majority of Trump supporters is ignorance, anger, stupidity, racism, sexism, transphobia, all the isms, all the phobias of other human beings, all wrapped into an expression that I like to call. That's that 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 basically is what Trump supporters are a whole bunch of like they just be mad. You know what I'm saying? And we just went over an article where, you know, there's endless excuses about, well, I don't really like Donald Trump, but I'm still going to vote for him because, you know, I like his policies and Kamala Harris. She's a little too liberal for me. She's a little, she's a little bit too liberal for my liking. So I'm going to go ahead and vote for Donald Trump. I, I really do hope and pray that uh, he doesn't put forth his tariff policies because that would be a disaster even though that's all he talks about, I hope that he doesn't do that. But these aren't those types of people. You know, we about to get a firsthand, first row view of how these people are, who these people are. So let's just go ahead and get into it. This man goes in to vote early in South Carolina and they ask him to take off his hat and he is not having it. Oh, See, there you go. We are we we already there, but let's watch it through. They're asking you to take off your hat, probably because it's some type of policy or just to, you know, keep people's temperaments a bit down. But no, God damn it. I can do whatever I want. I don't got to follow no goddamn rule. That's why I like Donald Trump, because, you no, know, he seems to get away with whatever he likes. He does whatever he wants and he don't never follow no goddamn rule. So that's why he's my daddy. That's why he's my Paul. Wow. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off my hat and I'm gonna throw it at you because I'm an adult. I'm a grown ass man. I can't regulate my emotions. Wow. Oh, wow. God. Oh. Oh, she ain't. She is not having it. She threw them hands. She threw them hands and he is not having it. You know, again, from start to finish, this dude is in the wrong. And now, now he's ready to fight a woman. Because, he's because again, what did I say about MAGA? At the end of the day, MAGA is a whole bunch of... <laughs> that's what it is. Wow. 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 And she ready too. They getting between them, but that woman is ready. She like, nah, I'll throw these paws with you. MAGA. Get Donald Trump in there. MAGA 2024. Make mayor great again. God damn it. Wow. God damn it. You know, again, when Hillary Clinton said basket of deplorables politically, you know, may, maybe not the best thing to say. But uh, yeah, it's very true. You know, again, because at the end of the day, if it's, if it's not the racism and the sexism, there's why? Why? Why are you, it's not even just like, it goes a step beyond why are you voting for Trump? Why are you so adamantly in favor of him? Because you don't, you, you think the country's too brown. You, you you don't like how many women are in power and that women are making money. You don't like that women can say no these days. And, you know, gay people and trans people can like exist in public. So, you know, that's a, that's a line too far. You feel me? Like, I, I remember the good old days when these queers used to stay to themselves, you know? So keep it keep it private. No, no, I don't want to see that. I don't want my children growing up to goddamn drag shows. It'd be like people who have no children talk about, well, the children at the drag shows. <laughs> That's all it is at the end of the day. MAGA is a whole bunch of <laughs> Hey now. Thank you so much for tuning in here at Politics and Paper. If you like what I do and you support my work, go ahead and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it and it really helps to support what we do here.